Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get online contracts and forms filled out for free without having to write it yourself or pay someone else to do it. So let's get started. Now typically what people will give you advice they'll typically tell you oh if you need a you know any kind of terms of service contract or you need um, any kind of privacy policy just outsource it well let me show you what how much outsourcing it will cost all right let me just type in terms of service and privacy policy all right I'm just just type that in all right and it'll cost you roughly, you know, oops. It'll cost you roughly um, $20, right? And sometimes even more, right? So, uh, you know, it, it's, you can do it that way, but why, you know, why kind of like blow money and burn money if you can just do it yourself, okay? So I'm about to show you that right now, and let's get started with that. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is go to policymaker.io and this is what you'll be greeted with. And you can just go ahead and enter your domain name. All right, that's just gonna be, uh, I'm gonna type in my or your website dot com. Then I click next. Oh, and uh, before you even do that, at the very, very top, there's a, a selector, right? So you the drop down menu it says generate legal documents and you have about four options to pick from. You have a privacy policy generator, terms and conditions generator, a disclaimers generator, and a non disclosure agreement template. Um, for the most part, if you're starting a new website or blog, you're most likely just gonna need the the, the three, the top three. So the and the most common one out of those is the privacy policy generator. So you go ahead and click on that. And then you can go ahead and type in and, and fill out the, and just basically fill in the blanks and what they ask you. So it, the first question they'll ask you is, what is your website domain name? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to type in uh, your website dot com, just so you get the understanding, okay? And then I'm going to click next. All right, then the next question is, what is your company's name? All right, uh, your company. All right. Just type that in. Next. In what country do you store and process your uh, user personal data? So it tells you specifically right here, specify the country where your servers are physically located. So if your, you know, your, your website hosting is in, let's say, the U.S. or Canada or Australia, that's what you would put. All right, so I want to put uh, Canada. All right. So I just want to be very specific. It's not where you are, okay, or where you're a resident of. It is where your country, uh, where, you, where the server your country is physically located, all right? Click next. And then the next question is, do you accept payments? Yeah, yes. And do you show ads on your website? Yes. If required by law or by a government agency, will you disclose the personal information of users to law enforcement agents? Um, for me, I'm just going to go with yes. Uh, you can go with no if you like. Do you ask you, your users for uh, location information? All right. uh, let's see. I, I don't. All right. No. And choose effective date of your privacy policy. You can, you can just click on the calendar. I'm just going to click in today. And uh, then you can add in your support uh, email. So I'm going to put uh, all right, customer support at, at uh, gmail.com. You, know, you can put whatever. This is just for you know demonstration purposes only. Okay, so then I click finish. And then here you go. That's it. You have your privacy policy. You have your effective date, introduction, you know, your company here. Uh, welcome to you, your company. Your company, us, we, or are, operates 
you know, whatever website, your website, here we refer to as service, and then our policy, privacy policy governs your visit to your website and explains how we collect, safeguard, and disclose information that results from your use or service. Uh, you can go ahead and read the rest of this, but uh, it covers everything from service, personal data, user's data, cookies, and so on and so forth. And it, it's quite lengthy and comprehensive. Okay, this is the entire you know privacy policy. And then at the end, you can just go ahead and copy privacy policies to clipboard, click OK, and then you can go ahead and paste this within your privacy policy page, and you're you're done. All right, um, easy peasy. And if you want the other forms, all you would have to do is go on to the, you know, just go ahead and click it and do the same thing. So if you want to generate terms and conditions, uh, you just go ahead and create user terms and condition generator. Or if you need to generate a disclaimer, you can go ahead and, and click uh, user disclaimer generator right here. I'm not going to go ahead and and do that. You know, you can. It's pretty much the same as just doing it for the privacy policy, and you just fill it out. Just make sure while you're doing this entire thing that it's it's accurate. And some of the questions, like I mentioned earlier, will be a bit tricky. Like, where is the physical location of your your server that your website is stored on? All right, so you have to pay attention to the questions and answer it correctly in order for the legal do documentation to to take effect or to, to, to be able to help you out, all right? So these documents are used because a lot of the times that they're required by law for your blog or website in many countries. And the second thing is it ups, helps to uh, mitigate any kind of li legal liability that you may have if a user decides to take legal action on you for their privacy information and stuff like that, all right? So you have a, uh, a free privacy policy and you didn't have to pay twenty dollars for it you got it for free and the same with uh, users of term conditions and user disclaimer generation generator so for a written instruction of everything that I covered in this video I will leave a link in the description below for anyone who's interested I'm Vince from Digital Nomad, Nomad Institute and if you found this video helpful could you please hit that like button as it would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one